And Peter, Paul, and Mary. They've traveled the world taking their special brand of folk music to thousands of audiences, but recently they played a venue they'd never graced before, the E! Newsroom. In addition to performing, the trio talked about their incredible career and their fiery new album. David Adelson was there. Sing it with us, Pop. The magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. It was 37 years ago that the legendary folk trio Peter, Paul, and Mary made their debut in a New York City coffee house. In the subsequent years, they traveled the world, recorded many albums, won Grammy Awards, hosted groundbreaking television specials, and used their music to champion political and environmental causes. Someone's laughing, oh, kumbaya. The trio celebrates 1998 with a new CD, Around the Campfire, a collection of 21 classic songs plus four new versions of Campfire Chestnuts, including Kumbaya. The album was inspired by a friend's daughter who had just attended her first Peter, Paul, and Mary concert. He said to her, uh, well, did you like the concert? She said, oh, it was wonderful, but Daddy, they stole all my camp songs. <laughs> so, of course, when he told us this story, we thought, Right. What a good idea. Let's let's put all of them together. How many times must the man come? In 1962, the trio's debut album introduced folk music to a large portion of the American public. It stayed in the top 10 for 10 months and in the top 20 for two years. It was the beginning of an auspicious career. Yeah, it's interesting that the, the records are getting accepted and it's on the charts. But that pales next to the simple experience of singing together, which is something that we were in love with doing. I'm David Adelson for E! News. Can we hear some more? Yes. Okay, from all of us at E! News Daily, thanks for watching. I'm Gina St. John. I'm Steve Kometko, and here's more.